we've just been taking one day at a time and moving forward and uh, preparing um, and expect that it's going to be, I really feel strongly there's going to be a big retailer market, um, but a market just the same and, and customers have been calling, um, you know, as they came into the showroom, I would ask if they were coming back for market. There were some that weren't and some that said that, that they were. Um, the brands themselves have been getting calls also. In fact, on my way in, one called asking um, a customer of theirs that they have had for some time wanting to know, did they have to have an appointment? I think that, that keeps coming up. And for some reason, customers seem to think that they might have to have an appointment to come. Um, so just assuring them that no, just be sure you have your mask and um, be ready to have your temperature taken and um, come to shop. If all the procedures were not in place, I'm not sure what we would do. Uh, most likely we would not participate, but given the lengthy list of procedures and you know, requirements, mask requirements, all those kinds of things, um, we feel like it can be executed. So um, to fulfill kind of the obligation we've got to vendors that show in our space, we're building a new space. So we're in the middle of building it anyway. So we're already down there doing all the construction work and everything else certainly was a factor. Um, but it, it comes down to, I think the, um, not that everybody doesn't expect this, there will be a lower, lower number of people in the buildings. And I think because of that, um, we'll be able to socially distance. I don't see it as a um, being any different than being open every day. Um, let's say on a Wednesday in September, we kind of view the market the same way as long as the precautions are in place. So, so that's kind of the way we looked at it. So um, we are seeing, I would say, um, people make appointments in person, and then we're uh, continually um, working on the new construction for our, um, our new showroom. So we have this grand new showroom that we want to be able to showcase to anyone that's willing to come. Um, and then also we're using it as an opportunity to book virtual appointments. So I think that with the use of Zoom as we are on now, um, people are going to be able to do that. We've also sort of, um, I would say, created a bunch of steps to work in tandem with a sales rep that may not be attending. And then like someone like myself who will be, you know, manning the camera uh, so that we can also talk about new introductions and that sort of thing. Um, but one of the, thing, the things that we're doing about safety protocols, uh, because we, we do so much home decor and we have, you know, 10,000 items in our showroom, invested in uh, UV wands. So basically it is a like a 12 uh, inch wand that we will be able to wipe down an area as a customer wants to go into a certain vignette. So if we have back to back customers, which we hope that we do, uh, we will be able to ensure that anything that they touch is um, sort of virus free. So that's one of the things that we invested in. It was a relatively inexpensive thing. We just got them from Walmart. So if you guys are looking for UV ones for your showroom, uh, the nice part about it, it will disinfect um, from a foot away. Um, so that you don't have the cost of wipes and sanitation and that sort of thing or sprays on any of your products maybe if you have products that are delicate so uh, we're hoping that this um, will help to ensure our customers feel safe um, and then um, also feel you know be able to touch our products and not have to worry about it. and we keep telling our team and our customers of course via e-blasts um, conference calls webinars anything we can do social uh, through our social media uh, private Facebook groups to let people know that it is safe. Um, we've had people anywhere from two people to 16 people in our showroom since really the first of May. We're, we're right at three months of going down there every single day um, and have not had any issues, have not had anybody that contacted COVID. Typically, I have four different entry points to have one way in and another way out kind of to keep it flowing so that um, I just think it might make it easier in that way. Um, in terms of the layout of the showroom, I haven't, other than the regular change that we might make in just bringing new product in and setting it up, um, I haven't done anything different in terms of making the aisle wider or anything along those lines. I think that, um, you know, we're, we're only 2,500 square feet. So um, unlike having a floor, you know, our, 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 our limitation is much lower than some of the other showrooms too. So in terms of the number of customers we can have in at a time, um, which I thought was really helpful also for the mark to do that, to go around and put the, the, um, 
the limitations on each of the doors. So that gave us some guidelines to follow and it makes it easier when you, if by chance you're at maximum capacity, then, you know, it's easy to, a customer I think is going to be a little more um, agreeable when they see it posted as opposed to you saying just arbitrarily, uh, we have too many people in at this time. Could you hold on just, just a moment? In the showroom or on Zoom, um, a virtual appointment. Um, so we're, we're trying to meet the customer where they need, where they're comfortable meeting us. Um, so, you know, we're going to be there. We're going to be open. Um, you know, I just, I have no idea what to expect. No idea. Uh, we get so much, I would say, traffic from international. We don't think we're going to see as much international business, of course, because people can't travel. So we're going to have so many Zoom calls, I would say, with our international team. They're booked and, and double booked. Um, and then um, we don't know what to expect, you know, with, I would say, everyday sort of traffic. So we are, you know, paying attention to all of the rules and regulations. We have a brand new showroom, so we don't know how the flow is really going to work, but we have so many more doors. So we're going we're gonna to open all of the doors and not try and direct traffic yeah. so that people feel welcome. And if they wanted to come in a different entrance and they, they saw maybe congested area or people shopping, they could come in a different entrance and still do social distancing. So we're going to sort of work with that um, and try and be as flexible as we can. Uh, we've got a great team. They've been doing this for five years um, and we're all really, I would say, flexible and, and how we're going to sort of adapt to this, I think, as everybody has to be throughout this. Um, and we're, I mean, we're excited to see people again um, and see where it goes, so. So both on the apparel side and the gift and home side for both markets or all three markets that are going on, um, we are working on publishing those literally today um, or at the latest on Monday. So it's been um, part of the reason we wanted to talk is because we know this has been a, a question for all of our um, showrooms. And so we've been working with our leasing teams to get those lists together. Um, we've had, it's interesting, we've had a number of people who um, initially weren't going to show and then have since decided to show. And it's part of what prompted this discussion is we wanted to to understand that a little bit more. So the information has been a little fluid this week, but um, we will definitely be posting that and sharing it obviously will be on our website for you, but then also pushing it to buyers too, so that they know who's gonna be here, um, who they can reach out to and make appointments. A lot of us are doing digital initiatives across this too. So when when customers are inquiring about coming, we've localized the markets completely. So we're not getting any employees on planes or anything to get there, but you know, so on that made the travel easier, but there's a lot of customers who are normally there for a week that are not gonna be there that are from further distances and that they can contact people or the people are doing Zoom or FaceTime walkthroughs, all that kind of stuff. I think everybody I've talked to is doing the same things. What I will serve is all going to be packed, you know, in some way or another where, um, you know, they will open it and it's something they can take with them. 